And we begin with those breaking developments tonight near St. Louis, Missouri, after the police shooting of that unarmed teenager. Today, the Ferguson police chief releasing the name of the police officer involved in the shooting after so much anger it was being withheld. But new outrage erupted tonight because police also released something else. These surveillance images that they believe could show Michael Brown, the shooting victim, involved in a store robbery earlier that day. We've been seeing these pictures all week, protesters in standoffs with police, the smoke from the tear gas filling the streets. Tonight here, do these new developments have that city back on edge? ABC Steve Osinsami on the ground again tonight for us. Steve, good evening. Good evening, David. The name of that officer is one of the things that all of the people out on the streets tonight in support of this family wanted to hear. But today, police also painted a different picture of the teenage victim. Don't shoot. Everything about this smells cover up. The officer that was involved in the shooting of uh, Michael Brown was Darren Wilson. It took them nearly a week, and the fighting over this incident nearly tore this city in two. But today, Ferguson City Police are finally sharing that it was 28-year-old police officer Darren Wilson who shot and killed this unarmed black teenager Saturday afternoon. He's been a police officer for six years, has had no, uh, no disciplinary action taken against him. At this family home in St. Louis, where neighbors believe Wilson lives, the families next door say he left the area early this week. Police didn't give us a picture, but they are sharing this one. They tell us that's Michael Brown, the young man the officer killed in the middle of what police called a strong arm robbery just 15 minutes before the shooting. The surveillance video from three cameras in this liquor store show him in the same red ball cap and white t-shirt that police say he was wearing when he was killed. Here, grabbing boxes of cigars, then shoving the manager who went after Brown and his friend, Dorian Johnson. Tonight, Johnson's lawyer is confirming the robbery. Today, police said that at the time of the shooting, Wilson didn't know the teen was a suspect. But in his initial police report, Officer Wilson says he was given a description by dispatch of a black male in a white t-shirt. That was no robbery! Many black families here are refusing to believe this story. I could be unarmed, get out the car, they gonna shoot me? And then say I tried to rob, or they thought I tried to rob somebody? Oh no, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. Telling me even if it's true, the officer had no right to shoot the young man dead. It's going to happen to another black person. State Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson, a son of this city, had made such a difference Thursday, walking side by side with protesters. Today, he felt caught off guard by the revelations. I think there are some concerns that reference the, uh, uh, the release of the information in a videotape. Uh, I'm going to have some conversations with the police chief uh, here shortly. The teen's family says they are beyond outraged. Whatever that took place there had nothing to do with an individual getting down on his hands and knees, raising his hands in the air and saying, don't shoot. They're calling this a character assassination. The police say their officer is in a safe place tonight. David. Well, Steve, you've been there in Ferguson all week for us, bringing us those images from scenes like this one with police facing off with protesters. And of course, there was the state police captain taking charge instead, hugging some of the protesters. So as we head into this weekend, uh, where do things stand? Well, right now we're expecting, of course, people to be out here through the night. And we're also really sort of hopeful that it will remain quiet as it was last night. The police saying that you can get a lot more done through peace and understanding. David. All right. Great reporting from Steve Osinsami every night this week. Steve, thank you.